Praxis Prepper, and I'm doing a special little short video today. Uh, I don't usually post on Sundays, I usually do that on Friday, uh, but I was just watching a Canadian Prepper video about a new uh, small uh, backpack uh, solar unit, and uh, I was going to write some feedback uh, in the comments section, but I figured it would be probably easier to just do a little video clip, so here I am. Um, he uh, did a great video about uh, a solar unit that he's got. It's a roll at one from uh, Lightsavers, uh, and uh, it looks pretty cool. I, and I want to talk about what I have and what I think might possibly be superior uh, to uh, to Lightsavers thing. And it's really one thing in particular, and I'll get to that just in, in just a moment. This is what I carry around with me. It's very small. It's a Goal Zero uh, unit. Uh, this is a Goal Zero to seven. Yeah. So just seven watts uh, in the little thing. Um, I have some Goal Zero 20 Nomad panels to fold up pretty small. The, the, the 20s are a little bit bigger, a little wider. And I've got two of those, and um, I found that I just wasn't really carrying them around with me just because they were kind of bulky. Um, it, I mean, they're, they're great for travel in a big bag, but in a backpack, you know, they took up a lot of room. So I got this little thing. Um, it was on clearance on Amazon. It was a, a refurb, and I got the whole thing plus some batteries for like $50, so it was like a really good deal. But I love it, and I'll tell you why. It's only 7 watts, so it's pretty small, uh, but it folds up to a pretty small size, um, and, uh, and that's great. I mean, it, 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 if, it's, if it's large and you're, not, you, and you're just not going to end up bringing it around, it's like, what's the point of owning it in the first place? So, even though it's a little on the small side, I bring it with me, because it's little. It's about the size of a book. Um, but what I really like about it, versus a lot of other units, including the, the, the lightsaber panel that a Canadian prepper uh, was talking about, is, uh, is this. And uh, the, the, the solar panel does not come with a battery pack. Um, but Goal Zero makes this. And this is a small little power unit. Uh, it's got a, a USB out on the top of it. And the battery itself, open up here, are four little AA rechargeable batteries. Um, and I know that there are higher capacity batteries, uh, and I know that, uh, that there are batteries that can, you know, just, well, that can take a lot more charge. But what I like about this is that AA batteries are so easy and so inexpensive to replace. So, I'm using these now, and when eventually these batteries are no good anymore, I don't have a dead solar unit that's connected to a bunch of batteries that I have to, like, pay, you know, kind of through the nose to replace. I like the fact that I can just take out, uh, I'm going to demonstrate what it's like to take a battery out of a, a battery charger. You can probably imagine. But I can take all these batteries out, I can recycle them, even though I've never really found a particularly good battery recycling program, but I can get rid of these batteries and get new batteries to go in here. Um, and the, the, the uh, solar panel itself is going to be good kind of forever. And I know that the batteries are not. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of batteries. I'm waiting for a new technology to come up. But for now, we've got batteries. And, you know, they've got a certain life to them. So when these die, I'll be able to get new ones and just throw them in here. And it's not going to be a huge, it's not going to be a huge deal for me. Uh, a lot of other units that have an internal uh, integrated battery, when that battery dies, you, go, you have to go back to that company probably and, and, and get a replacement. Maybe you have to buy a whole new unit. Um, and I'm not a huge fan of that. I love versatility. I like I love things that are modular, and I like the fact that this is modular. Now I can take this, and there's a USB standard USB out of it, and I can charge anything off of that. Well, I mean, you know, anything that you can charge off of a USB port. Um, so it's a little smaller, it's a little lower capacity, but it's modular, and I can get replacement double A's anywhere, and they're very inexpensive. And that's something to think about when you're getting stuff. Whenever I buy something, I think about what is going to be the situation when the parts of it that I know are, that are going to die eventually die. Because, you know, most things eventually do die. So that's it. I wanted to share that with you uh, as a thought. If you're, if you're thinking about getting a solar charging unit, think about the batteries, because batteries don't last forever. I own a Prius. Okay, I drive a Prius around, so I'm familiar with the idea of batteries having a life. Um, and I accept that. 
and I, I, I you know, I, I, I plan my actions accordingly. In this case, very inexpensive rechargeable batteries. So give us some thought. Uh, there's a lot of great products out there, but think about what happens when those products in, in, invariably are going to need some replacement parts, and how much it's going to cost you to replace those parts, and how easy it's going to find it's, and how easy it's going to be to find the replacements. I'm sorry, I had two glasses of wine before I did this. I wasn't planning on doing a video. So my apologies <laughs> if I stuttered a little bit. Thanks for watching.